Let's go! 1000 milliliters of medicine is to be given to a patient at a rate of 40 drops per minute. Find the length of time in hours. The IV should be administered. Use a drop factor of 10 drops per milliliter. So let's circle what we need to find. So circle hours. When you don't know what you need to do, write down what you are given and what needs to be found. So let's write what we have. We have a thousand milliliters. Let's write it down. A thousand milliliters. Then we have a rate, 40 drops per minute. We have a flow rate. So 40 drops per minute. We are writing what we have. Then we have a drop factor, 10 drops per milliliter. So 10 drops per milliliter. So we need hours. How can we get to hours? It looks like this conversion factor, 40 drops per minute, will connect us to time. But we need to have drops. So first thing you are going to do, you're going to change milliliters to drops. So change milliliters to drops, to drops. So we have a thousand milliliters. Write what you have as a fraction, a thousand milliliters over one and prepare to multiply. We are going to take a conversion factor, 10 drops per milliliter in order to change milliliters to drops. So we are going to multiply by this conversion factor. We have milliliters on top in the numerator. So we are going to put milliliters in the denominator. So milliliters can cancel out. And we are going to put drops on top in the numerator. So milliliters will cancel out and we will be left with drops. So let's put numbers. 10 drops per 1 milliliter. Then we are going to multiply our fractions. So 1000 times 10 drops over 1 times 1. So basically you're multiplying here. 1000 times 10 drops will be 10,000 drops. Now how can we get to hours? We have this conversion factor, 40 drops per minute, that will help us connect to time. So next we are going to change drops to minutes. So step number two, change drops to minutes. So write 10,000 drops over one and prepare to, to multiply by the conversion factor. The conversion factor 40 drops per minute will give us time because we are going to get rid of drops. So put 40 drops in the denominator and one minute in the numerator because your drops will cancel out and you will be left with minutes. Now let's multiply our fractions. So what do we do? We multiply the numbers in the numerator. 10,000 times one minute over one times 40. So here we're actually going to divide by 40, right? So we have 10,000 minutes, right? Divide by 40. So divide 10,000 by 40, you will get 250 minutes. We found minutes, we need to find hours, right? Next thing, we are going to change minutes to hours. So change minutes to hours. Very good, I love it. We have one hour equals 60 minutes. Very good. So we are going to write 250 minutes over 1 times. We want to get rid of minutes and we want to have hours. So we will put 60 minutes on the bottom and we'll put 1 hour on top in the numerator. So we are actually dividing by 60, right? You see 250 divided by 60. So here you're multiplying fractions, right? What do we do? 250 times 1 over 1 times 60, and we have hours. So you see minutes cancelled out and you're left with hours. So 250 hours divided by 60. 
So, if we need to write the answer as a fraction, we will reduce it by 10. Let's reduce it by 10. 250 divided by 10 is 25. 60 divided by 10, by 10 is 6. So 25 over 6 hours. This is the answer as an improper fraction. Now, if we wanted to write it as a decimal, we will divide 25 divided by 6. We will have 4.1666667. And if we round it, we will have 4.17 hours. If you want to know the real time, we have 4 hours for sure, right? And then we take this tail, we multiply it by 60 minutes, and we get 10 minutes. So the actual time is 4 hours and 10 minutes. Very good. I love it. Keep up the good work.